Hey guys, Mead Rattle, Chris Tomer here with this Saturday mountain weather update. Let me take you to where it's snowing right now. This is Northern California at Mount Shasta. This is the base cam. It's hard to see there, but it is snowing up there at Shasta right now. This is our next storm system coming in. It is warm, but it does have some precipitation weather. There's a second storm, which is a little bit colder and a little bit bigger. That'll come in on 1224. So we'll look at all that in the forecast. Here's radar across the western. There's a lot of rain showing up on this. They're talking about high rain snow lines. Um, and I'll show you in the jet forecast why this is the case. I mean, we've just got this massive ridge, unfortunately, with a lot of warm air out ahead of the storm system. Um, but you can see the precip there across northern California. Now, eventually, it's going to slide south and hit Tahoe. Now, that may not happen until tonight with a second surge tomorrow. And down at Tahoe, very high rain snow lines. I'll look at those numbers in a second. Out of the northeast, departing storm system, light wraparound snow for the northeast. That's it, light snow accumulation. All right, now on the water vapor, this is low level water vapor, so you can really see the contrast here. We've got a ton of dry air right here, a ton of dry warm air across uh, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. So the four corners are just warm and dry. And Here's our storm system. So the moisture's in the whites and the blues. This is the storm that is cranking out all that moisture and all that warm air across northern California, Oregon, and Washington. Another storm to the north, another storm behind it. All three of these storms are dancing out here around each other like spokes on a wheel, just kind of going around. Now, eventually, it's going to move in, and when the trough does come in, it will bring slightly colder air to the west. Uh, but and wait till you see the jet forecast. It is just so, there's so much amplification right now with high pressure that the, there's a lot of warm air to, to fight. Um, here's my rain snow line forecast for Lake Tahoe. Today and tomorrow, it's incredibly high when this precip comes in at like 9,000 feet. So you're going to have to be really high up. Now on 1224, that's going to be a colder storm system. That should bring the rain snow line back down to earth at about 7,000 feet for this area. Here's my uh, snow timeline. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the Northeast. We just talked about Tahoe. Um, between late tonight and tomorrow, moderate, light to moderate snow accumulation, very high up. Um, and then heavy on 1224. I think that's your next best shot of snow. And then 1226, 27, moderate to heavy. Now, through the interior, where it's very dry right now in the Wasatch, you've got snow coming tomorrow and then potentially trickling into the 23rd, light to moderate accumulations. We'll drill down on Alta Snowbird here in a second. Light to moderate afternoon 24, 25, and then light to moderate PM 26 into 27. Colorado light 23, light to moderate 25. That's probably your next best or our next best shot is on 12, 25, light to moderate accumulation, and then light on 12, 27. Let me just talk a little bit about um, Alta ski area. So this is the forecast mediogram at about 9,000 feet. So here's the column for today, um, Saturday the 21st, there's the 22nd, there's the 23rd, and early 24th. So this particular model has snow coming in um, to Alta, Snowbird, Little Cottonwood Canyon, about four, four and a half, five inches with this event on the 22nd, maybe trickling into the 23rd. Um, you can see what the winds do. They start to gust to about 30 when that front comes in. Today, high temps, dry, sunny, 38. Tomorrow, they fall to 31 for the high, and then Alta at about 9,000 on the 23rd is going to be in the 20s, so colder by the time we get to that point. All right, let's talk about the jet stream forecast. So this is the forecast at about 30,000 feet in the atmosphere. The colors represent wind speeds, so the brighter the colors, uh, well, I should just say the deeper the reds, the higher the strong, the higher the wind gusts, the higher the wind speeds with this uh, particular jet forecast. So this tends to be the storm track. And what you see right now, and I alluded to this, is the arcing to the north of the jet. So it's very warm and dry beneath a pattern like this. The action is going to be where the winds are, where you see the deep reds. That's where the action is. So this is early. It's effective early this morning. Let me head towards the lunch hour today. There you go. Storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest, BC, headed towards Idaho and Montana. Okay, late tonight. There we are. Now here's early Sunday morning. Look at the storm system sliding through a lot of the northern tier at this point. Um, okay, here we go. This is the 22nd, midday 22nd. This is tomorrow. 
um, late in the day on the 22nd. All right, now look what's coming. Look at the jet stream, this higher core, this jet streak of wind is coming in from the west out of California. Um, this is early on the 23rd. This is when we start to see that snow develop over a lot of Utah, the Wasatch, Idaho, Montana, Utah, and eventually Colorado, especially over the northern mountains of Colorado. So you can see the nose of the jet coming in, helping to provide some lift, bringing in some moisture. This is early on the 23rd. Here's midday 23rd. Here's afternoon, evening of the 23rd. All right, let's go into the early morning hours of the 24th. So this is about 5 in the morning on the 24th. Look to the west, next storm system. you got those deep reds coming in. This is going to be our Christmas Eve, Christmas Day storm. This is the one that's going to produce the better snow for a lot of Mammoth, Tahoe, and Northern California. All right, here we are midday on the 24th. You can see the dip in the jet. That's the trough of low pressure. That's the one that's going to come out of California, move through Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado between 24 and 25. Okay, let me talk about snow. Let's zoom into Colorado just a little bit. Here's Steamboat, Northern Mountains. I really think when you look at all of Colorado, the Northern Mountains are going to get the most accumulation between both storm systems, the one on the 20, late 22, 23, and then again 24, 25. Steamboat, this is forecasting about 5 inches between, uh, mainly from the first storm system, late 22 through 23 into early 24, about 4 or 5 inches. Now, significantly less as you go south towards the I-70 corridor, the Central Mountain Corridor, only about 1 to 2 inches through Vail, Vail Pass, Vail Ski Area. And again, that happens mainly early on the 23rd. There's another storm system for 24, 25. All right, here's my big map for the west, my official forecast, all of today through the 26th. You can see in California, the Sierra, most of the bulk of what you see there comes with the 24 storm system because it's going to be colder. Potentially 10 inches around Mammoth. Uh, 10 to 20 around Tahoe, and about 20 up in Shasta. The Pacific Northwest does extremely well with two or three different storm systems, but a very high rain snow line. So you're going to have to be up on the highest cascades and the highest volcanoes to get this two to three feet um, of accumulation that I'm forecasting. Interior BC looks great, especially late in the period, uh, with a, almost two feet there through Revelstoke, about 10 inches through Red Mountain, and Fernie kicking horse less as you drop down into Banff, Sunshine. Idaho's in great shape, looking at about 10 inches there through most of the ski areas, 8 to 12 through the, uh, the Wasatch, and I didn't even detail that, but the Wasatch, the Tetons, excuse me, I should have said the, uh, the Tetons. Um, so through the Tetons, you've got light on 22, moderate 23, and then a really good stretch between 26 and 29 of heavy snow accumulation. So what I'm showing here of 8 to 12 inches across the Tetons between Grand Targa and Jackson Hole, that's just through the 26th. We could easily add another foot of snow beyond this time period, beyond the 26th. Now, in the Wasatch, um, I'm forecasting about 6 to 10, maybe 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. And again, looking at the timeline, a lot of that happens, let's see, light to moderate, 22 into 23, light to moderate 24, 25, and then light to moderate 26, 27. In Colorado, northern mountains get the most, 5 to 8 inches, uh, about 3 to 6 across I-70, especially across the western slope a little bit more, and then less as you go to the southern mountains, but still some accumulation through northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. Taking a trip up to the northeast, pretty light snow accumulation between today and the 26th. Anywhere from 1 to 4 inches is likely going to do it. I don't have any major storm systems at this point for the northeast between this time frame. We might have a storm at the very late in the period, but this is only through the 26th. We'll end on the map for the west here, guys. Enjoy this new snow between now and Christmas, um, between the Sierra and eventually Utah and Colorado. The Tetons are in great shape. Interior BC is in great shape, and so is the Pacific Northwest. You're just going to have to go pretty high to get the best accumulation. Thanks for tuning in here, guys. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.